Hi everyone, welcome to my green closet. So today I'm gonna to be doing two very different makeup looks using my extremely minimal makeup collection. Now I saw a video recently by, I believe her name is Katie Hodges, I will link it, where she did a really fresh faced everyday look on one half of her face and then a really fierce dramatic kind of night look on the other half of her face using the same makeup. But I'm gonna be taking it a step further and doing two different looks using my tiny little makeup capsule. I have seven products in front of me and that includes each eyeshadow as a product. And I'm gonna to try to show you guys how versatile a little makeup capsule can be. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna clip this front hair back out of my face. And I do have a tinted SPF moisturizer on my face, which I use instead of a foundation. So I guess technically we could include that as a product as well and say that there are eight products. So then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with my RMS Uncover Up. And since I'm very pale, I wear this in the 000 shade. I do need to get a bit more of it. I just use my finger for this and I'm gonna put this under my eye and on any redness. Now this product can also be used as a foundation, so I am gonna use it more on the side of my face where I'm going for more of a dramatic, smooth skin kind of look than I would in more of my everyday look. And I'm just gonna cover up absolutely any kind of little red spots or discoloration. I typically just use concealer under my eyes and on a few red areas every day, so that's all I've done on this side, and then use it heavier on this side, and then I'm, I'm gonna just put a little bit on as kind of a base for my eyeshadow. So then I am gonna jump around a little bit because I have recently started using the RMS Lip to Cheek, which I absolutely love but since it is a cream blush, I'm gonna put that on before I put the powder on. I just find it works slightly better, even though it does still work quite well over top of the powder. I like putting it down just before, and it also allows me, if I go a little too heavy, to lighten it up a bit. So on my really everyday kind of fresh face side, I'm gonna go in really lightly, just on the apple of my cheek, just dabbing a tiny bit. And then on my more dramatic side, I'm gonna use it a bit more under the cheekbone. And we will return to this later for lips. So next I'm going in with some powder and this is the Alima Pure Oil Balancing Primer Powder. Now I just use this as a regular powder even though it is a primer powder. And I found it works great for my combination skin. And it's very lightly pigmented because typically I don't want a lot of thick makeup. And again, I'm using it much lighter on this side, just kind of where I typically would, sort of on my nose and forehead and under the eyes a bit, setting the concealer a bit because this concealer can be quite oily. So I do find I need to put a little bit of powder on top just to keep it from slipping around and getting too shiny. Now I am definitely not a beauty guru or anything like that, so I'm sure I'm not using the proper techniques, but this is just what I do. Okay, so now we're gonna do my brows, and like I've talked about in other videos, I have a very simple little eyeshadow palette, and this is super versatile, and I use this kind of cool brown also to do my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go in with an angled brush and kind of do little brush strokes into my brows, and on this side, I'm just gonna do a pretty soft, smooth brow. So on this side, I was basically just coloring in my natural brow, and then on this side, I'm gonna do a bit more shaping with the eyeshadow. So there's my brows. I don't know if they look that different on camera, but I might even just go in with a little bit of the black mixed into the brown, just at the bottom to give it a tiny bit more dimension. And now I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow and I'm gonna start the same on both eyes by just putting a little bit of brown kind of into the 
corner area of the eye. And then for my fresh faced everyday look, I'm just gonna go in with some of the light kind of whitish shade on the inside, very lightly just in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the brown and just blend that to make it nice and soft. And then I just typically go in with a very soft black, just using the powder along the lash line and winging it out a tiny bit. But I'm never usually really picky or precise about this. And that is basically the eyeshadow done for this eye. That's what I typically do most days. But on this eye, we're gonna really ramp it up. So I'm gonna go back in with the brown and really deepen this corner and crease up. And with this kind of dramatic look, I'm also not the sort of person to spend hours and hours doing my makeup. So even though it does take me longer, it's still a relatively quick kind of look. And I'm bringing it up a bit higher onto the brow bone and sort of winging it out. So then I'm gonna go in with the white shade and I'm gonna start that in the corner and also bring it into the middle of the eyelid. And I'm also gonna use that above under the brow bone to just define this shape a little bit better. And I'm also gonna take the brown and put it into my lower lash line a little bit and bring it up in the corner. And then we're only lightly gonna blend this out a little. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the black and first I'm gonna use it dry with a really thin brush and kind of smoke it up a little bit from the lash line. And then we're gonna go in wet and try to do a nice clean wing. So I like to outline the area that I want to fill in first and then go in and kind of lightly pack it in there. And I'm gonna go back in with the brown to help just blend it out nice and smooth. Okay then, so before we wet our brush, I'm also going to very lightly just put a little bit on the bottom lash line as well, especially focusing on this corner. Okay, so I have now wet my brush and we're gonna go in with the same black, but do a cleaner line close to the lashes and wing it out. So I like using it both wet and dry because wet, you get that really nice, dark, deep black and you can really control that line and then dry, I can create kind of a lighter, more smoky fade from that. So then we're just gonna go in with some mascara. And on this side, I am gonna do an extra coat, especially on the outside, to just kind of thicken it up a bit more. And on this side, I'm just gonna do one coat and actually avoid my bottom lash because, I don't know, I just like the look of just the top lashes. I feel like it kind of lifts the eye up a little bit. So those are the two finished eyes. Okay, so now I typically won't wear contour day to day, so I'm not gonna do anything on this side of the face, but I am gonna go in with some contour on this side of the face. Now, I guess I probably should have done it before my eyes, but I don't think it matters too much. I'm gonna use this same brown again that I used for my eyebrows and eyeshadow, and if you can find a good brown that works with your skin, it is immensely versatile. And with this, I'm gonna go under my cheekbone, on the corner of my jaw here, and I'm also gonna go up on my temple and into the corner of my hairline. Now day to day, I might wear a little bit of highlighter. And if so, I just use that same white eyeshadow 
and this one has a little bit of shimmer to it. And for my everyday look, all I'll really do is maybe put that a little bit on top of the cheekbone. But on this side, I'm gonna put it on the cheekbone, a little bit on my forehead, on the cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. So then we're at our final stage, which is lips. So we're going back to the lip to cheek. And on our fresh side of the face, I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit of product with my finger and just dab it on my lips really lightly. But then for this side, I'm gonna actually go in with a brush and do a really precise lip and really deepen up the color. So those are the two finished looks using only seven, or I guess we said eight products. And I would love to know what you guys think. Also, I would really love to see more people try this, especially if you're more skilled at makeup than I am. It is quite a challenge limiting the amount of products you use. So even using like less than 10 products, I feel like is definitely a challenge to try to use products in different ways. So if you do try this, please let me know. I would love to see it. So this was a fun little video to make. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.